This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutation viewers, Valdemar right back here with another episode of Odin's Fear Lothrasir. In the last episode, we finished the tale of the Black Sword, Oswald the Shadow Knight. In it, he defeated on the Onyx King, somehow, even though the Onyx King is immortal, but whatever. Apparently, he somehow defeated him long enough to get Gwendolyn back. We realized Onyx King's fears that he was in love with Gwendolyn, I guess, but uh, he was afraid to wake her up because she would leave him. And Oswald suffered the same thing. But if you play Gwendolyn's story, the Valkyrie, you know a bit more about what happens to Oswald and Gwendolyn, but we'll leave it up to you to either play it or watch those videos. So, but now we've got a fifth book. Is this the final tale in our in our in the world of Odin's Sphere? Let's find out. Let's pick up the Book of Fate and read. Let's read about the adventures of the lost princess with no kingdom to call her own in Velvet's Tale. Na uh, named Fate. Cornelius, he squeezed my hand so tightly. Forgive me. I cannot help but keep you close. But soon I must depart. My father awaits. Can you meet me here again? I shall be waiting. Your promise gives me strength. Tis but a temporary separation. I do not approve. Ingwei! How dare you! How long have you been there? Must I turn him into a frog to make you give him up? Wake up, Velvet. He is a prince. We are but vagabonds. Your love amounts to nothing. <laughs> you need not be jealous, Ingwei. King Valentine's blood runs through you both. You are the last living heirs. You shall restore the throne. Silence. Skaldi, go tell Urza that I shall be successful in my plans. I. A king, eh? So they want us bastards conceived in treachery, linked to our grandfather's bloody throne? I think not. Please, don't talk about our mother that way. Velvet. It would seem you have forgotten about the curse she set on us. I have not forgotten. No, you have. Now, read this once again. Read the prophecy our mother wrote. Tis written clearly. An unavoidable curse and death shall be unleashed upon us both. Our mother, who could see the future, wished death upon us. We abandoned our mother first. Twas inevitable she would curse us. Had we not abandoned her, that crazed king would have executed us as well. I would have preferred that. At least we would not have to suffer under a curse cast by our own mother! That doesn't mean that the curse she has predicted will come true. Oh, can you see the future now, like Mother in Hindle? <laughs> I'm sorry, Velvet. I spoke too strongly. Let us go. Hold on to this. My dear children, eventually an inevitable curse. Curse and death shall be thrown upon the two of you. Mother. Mother. 
My dear children, eventually an ev inevitable curse and death shall be thrown upon the two of you. The cauldron guides the way to Armageddon with its final stone. Well, with that bit of motherly love, we are playing the game with the final character in our group, Velvet. She uses her chains for combat, as you've seen before when we fought her previous uh, characters. She has some pretty neat moves. Uh, probably, I would say Velvet is probably the physically weakest out of all the characters, even more so than than, uh, than Mercedes. Like her attack, she doesn't do, unless you equip strength abilities and stuff like that, she, she does the least amount of damage out of everyone. It doesn't seem like it, but she does. But um, She can move around on screen. I forgot how to do her. I think I had to hold the B button, the X button, sorry. Yeah, she can chain around the field. So she's got a bit of maneuverability similar to Mercedes. So, But yeah, just uh, pretty straightforward. She's the most technical character we're going to play as. So she has her own difficulties next to Mercedes and Oswald. So we'll see how we do. But uh, let's continue our adventure now that we know how to play as Velvet. And also we found Ingwe. Apparently Ingwe was quite a jerk before. Apparently at some point he got turned into... Well, let's not spoil it if you haven't played any of the other stories yet. Anyway, let's continue on. Why hath my slumber been disturbed? You possess the gift of foresight. I seek an answer from you. Unfortunately, I cannot assist you. When I speak, fairies and humans misinterpret my words and lose their perspectives. I have stopped gazing into the future. I am of King Valentine's bloodline. I had heard that you were close to the royal family. Sheep are close to humans as food, not friends. So too are dragons. We have never been friends of man. I see. So you are Velvet. I have had visions of your arrival. I guess this is the time. If you knew I was coming, then you know why I am here. As your mother said, a curse and death surround your own demise. Tis nothing to fear. No life can escape death. When life ends, a world is sealed. If you know my fate, you know that it is pointless to discuss my death. Yes, that is correct. Please tell me what the future holds. Everything hath already been written in the prophecies. I have nothing more to add. The path to take will be indicated by your mentor. My mentor? Death cannot be avoided, but fate can be redirected. Are you suggesting destiny can be changed? I exist for guidance. Though I be not rewarded, I must serve my purpose. Until, as the prophecy states, the Shadow Knight from the Fairy Kingdom takes my life. Oh. Deny fate if you wish. That is your duty in your demise. Hmm. You shall visit here once more. At that time, my friend shall attend to you. Now, please go. My own end draws near. Even sinners before their execution are allowed time for a prayer. Please do not interfere with my slumber. Well, the prologue to this is quite quite dour indeed, as Velvet v reaches Hindel right before the Shadow Knight apparently kills him. Well, looks like v Velvet's story is all tied to the Chains of Fate, it seems like. 
I kind of, uh, you kind of, kind of sense that with Velvet's kind of weapon. She does wear a chain, a cipher chain on her body, so chains of fate. Uh, Why, Princess Velvet? Out. If I knew you would be visiting, I would have had some tea ready. Are you still in the castle in the forest? It's quite far from anything. It is a very nice castle, but it's almost like a prison out there. Everyone needs to believe that you and Ingwe are the only survivors of the destruction of Valentine. Yeah, because they all got... Wait, why? Oh, I know why, but, you know. Princess Velvet, have you been studying? This is a perfect time to review our nation's history. The Kingdom of Valentine was created after our ancestors first came to Arion. Our exceptional skills in magic and technology flourished. And we prospered, becoming an affluent nation. In our golden age, we controlled over half the continent and... Master Croy. Mm hmm Yeah, I was about to say, we got, we got kind of got to play the game, dude. Uh, can't stay here forever. Yeah, we get access to the kitchen quite early in uh, Velvet's Princess, Tale. I'm off to earn some money. These days, I can get a fair amount of coins by working in the Fairy Kingdom. Yeah, we've seen you quite a few times. I assume we can't buy anything at this point. Yeah, I don't have the money for it. Oh well, come back later. See you later, Puka. Actually, I have to say, Velvet's probably one of my favorite designed characters out of out of the group of five that we get to play as. I'll describe that more as we uh, as we apparently need to explore the Netherworld in Delphia in Chapter One of Velvet's Tale. As we have discussed before, there are several prophecies about this land. All of them refer to the end of the world, caused by five disasters, a monster, a fire, a king of death, a cauldron, and a dragon. The prophecies about our own nation were similar. Ingwe and I were taught about these prophecies when we were younger. Princess Velvet, do not have an answer regarding how to save the two of you. Master Croy. Any instructor would be vague. They would guard their words to comfort their pupil. Scaldi. Is this an acquaintance of yours? Before the first Valentine heir came to this land, the prophecies regarding this area were already ancient. They are more accurate than the tales coming from less enlightened nations. How dare you insinuate that my country's wisdom is fallacious! King Galen of my country, Titania, listed these prophecies in an epic poem. The truth behind the catastrophe can be found in these verses. And where are these poems? I would like to see them. The Psalms have been scattered and are lost. One section has been passed by word of mouth, however, it is quite vague. If you know not the words, tis best to admit that you do not know them. All wise men respect honesty. If you continue your folly, you will never find the answer you seek. You do not seek a debate. All you want is a fight. Oh, I feel dizzy. Be careful. Anger is likely to disrupt the amount of blood reaching one's brain. Then I salute your extensive knowledge. I bid you farewell. Master! That wasn't nice, Scaldi. I spoke only the truth. Tis fact that the Psalms foretell events to come. Is there any way to read the whole scripture? Only King Galen knows the entire poem. But Galen is held prisoner in the Netherworld. Hmm. You once said you are able to go to the Netherworld. Yes, indeed, I can. I'd like to know the truth. If the epic poems tell of destruction, I shall take you there and hand them to you. But please do not forget, if you seek fish, you must first bait the hook. What is it you want? 
Oh, the request of one as old as I is but a trifle. I ask for a single book. If I can borrow the Book of Transformation. That is a book of magic scribed by my grandfather. Tis my kingdom's treasure. It is not mine to give. I only ask to borrow it for a short time. I see. Well, let us go before we change our minds. Alright, looks like we need to explore the netherworld to find King Galen to, so we can find out how to perhaps stop the apocalypse or... Well, not the apocalypse, how to stop our death. The apocalypse is, is a minor thing indeed, but... Uh, but yeah, I like her. I like I like Velvet's fighting style, and it's completely different from everyone else's, you know, because of her cha her cipher chain. What I, I forgot what her cipher is actually called. They do tell us that in the previous tales, but uh, but yeah, for that we get the foes, uh, a new Phozon skill for her. Nice, we'll need that. <laughs> Can't upgrade it yet because we've only got six Phozons, but uh, we acquire the dancing chain. Uh, release a chain that chases foes. Very nice. We'll. Uh, Put that on our circle. Uh, if I remember correctly, she, uh, um, oh, well, okay. Uh, anyway, if I remember correctly, uh, you know, out Mercedes was like a common, uh, was mainly spells and, and uh, Oswald was mainly, uh, melee. Um, uh, Velvet is a combination. Like I said, she's a versatile character. Or she's got many versatile abilities and, uh, things, so, but. She's mainly, uh, she, she can do both melee and spells, but like I said, she is the physically weakest out of all the, the fighter types. But, uh, uh, yeah, we need to start grind, grinding for these dudes again. But, yeah, I think, I think Velvet's my favorite design character. I don't know, she, you know, kind of a combination of mystery and beauty. She kind of looks like a, uh, an old Roman, uh, traveling, uh, traveling Romanov or something like that, you know, from, uh, the old, the, the traveling tribes of Europe, stuff like that. And, I don't know, very elegant, like I said, elegant and beauty kind of wrapped into one. Yeah, look at that, like I said, she, I, I still, I think Cornelius is still my favorite character overall, but I do like Velvet a lot, but she is a bit of a challenge, I'll admit. Um... Most, most people have a hard time playing as Velvet on the hard difficulties when they play through this game. Like, on normal mode, I'll be fine for the most part. But if I was playing this on, like, the hardest difficulty, yeah, I'd probably have some... Uh, I'd have some minor trouble with uh, with Velvet. <laughs> Let's just say that for the, for the most part. But we should be able to handle it since we're playing just normal mode. I don't even want to think about what a difficult... what a hard mode would be like for her. Anyway, do we have any berries to uh, plant. We got. Now yeah, let me get another one before I use up the rosemary for this for this area. Come on, come on. There we go. I have poison. Oh, yeah. Sorry, we're gonna see a lot of repeats by the end of the game, or by this point, because we played through all the chapters. So, but... all right, let's get the area map for this place. Let's see how big this place is. All right. Not too large. I'll probably take up the rest of the next episode, but kind of let's keep exploring while we uh, uh, try to find King Gallant. Ugh. Oh yeah, this is the poison area. Well, let's say I have a, a poison. I'll, I'll. Oh, actually, I should go ahead and use it now. Now that I think about it, because it, it it raises my resistance to it after after getting it as well. It cures it, but also makes me. Well, it's, I wouldn't say immune, but it makes me uh, resistant to it till uh, I can find a until I explore this place and get out of here. Get a lot of bones. There we go. Yeah, we get a power stone. Right, let's uh, swing our way out of here. Kind of reminds me of Spider Man, actually. <laughs> Spider Velvet? Not quite. Alright, but yeah, basically, yeah, we just swing on out of here. Mercedes is a little bit more better because, you know, she can just fly, but uh, it's a nice, uh, nice little difference. Yeah, every time we start a new adventure, gotta remember to start stacking stuff again. Can't uh, can't forget that. Yeah, anyway, I'll probably eat the mulberries here in a second after I uh, get to the next uh, area and get another uh, seed. 
I forgot. The, I, I keep forgetting that the game shows like the difficulty. If you're at a, like if you're a below level, it'll be all in red because it's like danger, 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 danger. Now we that was not too bad. It goes to show you ha don't have to be at that level to succeed. You just have to be more careful than most. All right, let's go back to the rest stop and uh, plant that. Uh, plant those mulberries so we can get a couple. Of, we'll get a couple levels from those. Suck it up. There we go. Right, take those. Uh, okay. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and eat those really quick. Get those levels. That'll give us like the first two or three levels easily. Now let's just watch someone eat for a minute, shall we? Yeah, remember the days when mulberries would level you up? Pepper's Farm remembers. Everyone licks their fingers after they eat food, I guess. I mean, not that people don't do that in real life, but uh, it's just kind of one of those things you kind of notice while you're playing the game, so. No. Uh, let's. Actually, let's equip that power stone right there. And we'll continue on with this place. Man, quite dangerous indeed. Undead, bones everywhere. King Gallon, the former king of Valentine. Or not Valentine, uh, Titania, somewhere around here. We're, we're following a creepy creepy wizard called Scaldy who wants a book of transformations. Oh, that won't blow up in our face. Nope, nope, nope. Ugh. Weird. Worm tentacle things. Super tentacle... anti? Not quite. I can say that once in a uh, TV game. Hey, it's, ja it's Japan, man. They're all about that. Yeesh. We all... You know, I'm not, you know, I was about to go into the history of why that is, and I'm like, nope, never mind. I don't even want to touch it with the tip of Paul, at least not now. But anyway, looks well, like Velvet's got a bit more of a travel waiting for her ahead as she travels to the underworld to find King Gallon, suggested by Scaldi. Will, uh, will Velvet be able to survive through the underworld, find King Gallon, and figure a way to stop her and her twin brother Ingwe from dying in a most cruel and unusual way? Or will she become a lost soul? left to wander the underworld. Well, basically for forcing her fate. Find out next time on the next episode of Odin's Fear, Lothrosir. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.